Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can create uh, a Azure function, and uh, we'll see how we can like quickly create this Azure function in uh, less than five minutes or so. So let's get started. Okay. So these are my two windows, uh, VS Code windows. Uh, one is like empty workspace, and the other one is the um, Python function that I want to deploy as a Azure function. So we are not going to go in depth, like what this script does. So basically like whatever script that you have written, how you can transform that script to a show function is the objective of this video. So first of all, what you have to do is uh, you have to install this plugin first of all. Uh, let me show you what all plugins are these. Uh, click on this uh, extension and search here Azure. So you need to have these three plugins installed, or uh, I would say extensions installed, Azure account, Azure functions, Azure resources. And yeah, that's it. You are good to start. Once these uh, extensions are installed, you would see a Azure um, icon here, you have to click on that. This will show you uh, what all subscriptions you have. I'm going to use my personal subscription here. Here you would see Azure fun um, function app. You have to expand that and you have to create a new one. A dialog box will open that will ask you a couple of details. Right now it's asking me for function app name. I'll give it uh, demo01. East US. What is uh, the runtime stack? I'll, since my script is written in Python, I'll choose the Python runtime stack. And location, you can choose whatever location is closest to your uh, demographic location. I'll go ahead and choose East US. Wait for a couple of minutes or so. We are almost done. Okay. So this function app is uh, created successfully. So now what you have to do, you have to click on that function app. And here in the workspace section, you would see this uh, lightning bolt. So which says like create function. So you have to click on this. And this will again ask you to Enter a couple of details. Mm, location, I'll keep the current directory. Language would be Python. I've chosen an interpreter. Okay, this is the exciting part. So mm, you can write an Azure function and there are like a couple of uh, you know, offerings that are provided by Azure, you can create that Azure function as a HTTP um, trigger endpoint, or you can, you know, uh, create this function as a cron job, or you can, you know, um, create some custom logic. Um, like if there is something coming in your blob storage, you want to trigger um, your Azure function. So there can be multiple trigger points as well. So these are the you know few that you see it here. Cosmos TV trigger, event grid, event hub, queue storage, service bus queue, service bus topic, etc. So uh, for this video, we'll create a cron job. For cron job, you have to choose time a trigger. This is the um, cron expression. I'll set this to each minute. Okay, we are done. It has uh, generated in generated some you know sample boilerplate code for you in your workspace. It has pretty much everything. 
that you need and just so now we just have to you know migrate our code uh, to this azure function but before that here you see a requirement.txt okay so this will be used for dependency management because if there are any other dependencies that you have used in your uh, script so you need to add those here okay so i've just used one extra library which is request i'll just add it here and okay let's go to this init.py this is the entry point of your application so uh, this function will be trigger um as per your cron app expression and now what i'll do i'll copy all my code and paste it here One thing that we can change here is passing this variable and we'll call this method here. That's, that is all it. And let me quickly run this in my local and show you what is going to be the output okay so as you saw whenever you run that application this will uh you know send a message on your discord like what is the security report from artifact hunt so when we deploy this uh, using a cron job uh, our you know Azure function should do the same every minute. Okay, so we are done editing our code. Now what we'll do, we'll see how you can deploy our code. So again, you have to click this um, Azure extension here. Expand your local project. There you see your functions. Click on the functions that you have edited and click on this uh, deploy. Choose the correct subscription and the function app. It will confirm you if you want to deploy. Click deploy. And deployment is completed. And we can already see the message has popped up. Let's wait for one minute to see uh, if this message is coming again. Yep. So as you can see, this message is popping every um, every minute as we have set up the cron job. So yeah, one bonus tip. Um, this is the portal dot Azure. If you want to see, uh, you know what are uh, resources that you have deployed, so you can check out uh, from portal itself. Click on this function app, and this is the function app that we deployed using VS Code. 
And in this function, you have to click on this functions. And here you would see there is one time to go function. If you want to access the files that are there, click on this. And in the developer section, you would see code plus test. If you click that, uh, this will show you what all files that you have deployed. Um, uh, how is the binding for your application? What is the cron expression that you have set up? Everything. Okay, so um, yeah, this is one that I was talking about. Here you can say, let's see the init.py and function.json will show you the binding details and the schedule of your cron job. And if you want to see like uh, when all these you know functions have trigger, or in case of HTTP triggers, when these application when these you know endpoints are getting invoked, you have to click this monitor, and here you would see um, you know invocation traces and logs as well. In my case, uh, it has triggered twice. There are two success and zero errors as well. So yeah, that was it about this video. Um, if you like this content, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for uh, a regular this type of content. Thanks everyone, have a good day.